hi guys welcome back and hey to everyone that is new so this morning what we are going to be doing is their thoughts about you so the person that you're asking about we are going to be going into their thought processes on you and see how they are thinking about you so i've got two decks for you to pick from this one over here is deck number one and this one over here is deck number two this one is the goddess tarot and this one is the fey tarot okay so goddess and fey that's what we're using today number one number two and we work on the collective energy deck number one uh between you all so regardless of individual circumstances or situations um it pulls the mutual energy out between you guys but obviously if anything doesn't resonate just remember it for a later date and i'll put all my details in the comments for you so you can get in touch if you need me right what is your person thinking about you right now seven of wands seven of wands interesting because i've just had this in a, in a private reading for someone four of wands here come the wands death I'm just gonna get four i'm gonna make it a quick reading today and the sun as well so we've got a little bit of a mixed bag going on with you and your person so their thoughts about you now the first card jumping out is the seven of wands now you might have found that whenever you've tried to communicate with them recently you've been hit against a brick wall or that they have had to defend their choices and their actions they are feeling a little bit vulnerable at this point in time with regard to the situation with you um, and therefore they feel that they have got their guard up a little bit now the reason why that is happening is because of jealousy so jealousy is probably impacting your relationship with this person at this moment in time the reason why i'm saying that is because i'm getting the killer song um Mr. Brightside and it's all about jealousy. So this is either you or them impacting the relationship by feeling these feelings of jealousy at this moment in time. You also might find that your person has been trying to protect their inner child. So if they've got some wounds that happened when they were younger, um, if this has kind of come up in conversation, you might have found that they've brushed you off or put you on the sideline and, and, and said, oh, you know what, I'm not really willing to talk about it at this point in time. And it's because they might be feeling a little bit attacked at the moment, okay? Short-lived, don't stress about it. It's just the way they are feeling about things at the moment, a bit overwhelmed. We've got the death card over here to say that there is an ending happening in their thoughts for you as well. So a transition, okay? Things are changing in their thought process. So where they have been weighing things down and feeling quite, I'm going to stand up for myself, that transition is now happening with them and there is changes being created in their thought process towards you. New beginnings are afoot. And it's like the old has to die for the new to be reborn we have um spirit just showing me the pagan wheel of the year how the seasons change if we hold on to dying things they can never be reborn so where this past energy is coming in where this energy of i'm defending myself over stuff that happened in the past where that is happening at the moment there is going to be a release and a surrendering of that and a transition into the new okay and i just got um oh god this is a, a primary school a primary school hymn from the older travel to the new keep me traveling along with you so that coming up with you and them as well so you are traveling you are on this journey with them and they are transitioning this is where you are with them they are realizing that they have to release the past to bring in the new and that new they want to be with you because they want to say keep me traveling along with you and this is where the four of wands come in which is quite apt for this time of year um as well so we have beltane coming up what, what we've just had it um all about this celebrations the, the spring the new the joy I even made a flower crown the other week i feel like i should put it on for this um for beltane so it is this celebration going on it's also this twin flame connection between the two of you so we have this celebration that is happening we also have the fact that they can see a relationship with you they can see a future with you they can build and grow but they just have to release the past okay and then the last card over here is the sun again very beltane very beautiful time of year you've got the sunflowers which are always about abundance and whenever we do any kind of magic for abundance sunflowers are a wonderful flower for you to be working with to be putting in your house it's very prosperous it's also very good uh, for relationships so 
the outcomes of where you're heading we've got this joyous times and we've got these celebrations in their thought process towards you even though it's a bit sticky at the moment they're transitioning into this more positive energy with you guys and this emotional energy and this stable energy which brings joy and enlightenment you make them happy they see a future they can grow there's definitely growth here with them but it has to be released from the past so once they surrender all this stuff that's happened before you can move forward with them and that's where their feelings are towards you at the moment i actually feel like i want to just pull uh lenormand let's go to lenormand and let's just have a look at your future oh your future with them what are their the future of those watching so lenormand works very differently from tarot it's very blunt and direct for deck number one So we've got protection coming up. We've got this kind of mother bear protection looking after the relationship. So even though you are transitioning with them at this moment in time, they are protecting their connection with you. Um, so perhaps you might find that they've been a bit of an asshole, like I said. Um, but if that's happened, they, they've, they're doing it for what they feel are the right reasons. So we've got that protection. We also have, again, a transition. So you've got the future of the two of you, um, allowing this transition to happen with the stalk coming in at the end, which is kind of predicting the change that is about to happen with you guys. Um, and it is that transition. And obviously the stalk has a baby in its mouth. So again, new beginnings coming up. So protecting the connection, protecting the, the friendship, the, the bond that the two of you have, where they are at the moment with their self-defense. Moving forward, there is transitioning with you um, into perhaps what could be a brighter, better future. And if you want to look at that in more detail, we can do that on private readings. I'm doing same day return on voice note readings at the moment on Instagram. Um, so just give me a shout. And that's deck number one, super speedy number one. And I'm going to just shoot over to deck number two. So we are just doing your person's feelings about you today. And it works on the collective reading energy between you all. So it's a bit like doing the average of massive school where we went into all your people's, uh, all your mathematical numbers and came up with an average. That's how a collective reading works. So if anything doesn't resonate, either let it go or remember it for a later date. And it's quite a speedy reading today because I've got my speedy pants on. What are they feel? What's the person you're asking about feeling about you? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. What are they feeling? Seven of Wands. Oh, you as well. Oh. Dead number one had seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. And we'll get one more. I'm stopping at four cards today. Nine of Swords. So I feel like I want to stop at four cards today and then I'll probably pull you some Lenormand as well as like the outcome. I had my flower crown on because uh, we were just talking about Beltane in deck number one and I was like, oh, it made me flower crown. So I felt like I wanted to put it on for the reading. So your person's feelings about you at the moment, there is a sense of fear that is going on with this situation at the moment. They are very much in their mind over this connection and they're in their mind because of the stability and security that they can offer you. They are not feeling good enough at this point in time. They are feeling that you deserve more than what they are giving you. Um, and that perhaps they're never going to give you what it is that you want and what it is that you desire. And we can see that through the root chakra being activated through this card, okay? So the stability and the security, they're feeling that perhaps they've painted themselves out to be this wonderful person with these great ambitions and this great strength, but perhaps you will feel that they have lied to you. Um, and the reason why they're feeling that is because of low confidence, low self-esteem. So they're very much in their mind over this at the moment. They can see that there is a pathway forward with you. Okay, they can see that they could work this out with you, but they are just really struggling to come to terms with what they've said and how you would react if you got to kind of know the real them. And this is why the seven of ones is coming up. So step number one had seven of ones as well. It's all about kind of defending your choices and defending your actions. So if they have been showing you the person that they think you wanted to see, um, not showing them their showing you their authentic self, this is why the Seven of Wands is coming up. So they have got these these this kind of self-esteem issues that run very deep 
in their emotions um, and they feel that they've had to defend themselves quite a lot throughout their lives that they've had to stand up for themselves perhaps even as kids they've had to mark their that who they are as a person believe in themselves and sometimes they've lost themselves along the way and we have got this kind of trauma bond connection happening here as a collective energy um so they've been fighting at demons they've been fighting at shadows they've been fighting at things that perhaps aren't there and this cards that are coming up in their feelings for you are very much of the mind okay so you probably wouldn't see this for them you know you wouldn't think oh you know that's not who they've said they were they weren't like this you probably wouldn't even notice but your person is a little bit in turmoil over it at the moment as a whole this collective reading your people are thinkers and over thinkers and over analyzers and with that they ch start to try to chase they they are chasing a little bit of shadows of the past okay because they're trying to come to terms with things that have happened and how they could progress themselves forward they don't like the past holding things over them, okay? Now, what's good to know in their feelings for you is that this will be overcome with the Wheel of Fortune. So even though the cycle's been going round for a little while of them and these feelings and these emotions and I'm not good enough and I can't um, give you what you want, this cycle can break and it's a domino effect. So once the top domino falls and they say, okay, I have got this, I can make this work out, I do feel that I'm good enough, all the others will fall into place and it, the, the cycle will break Okay, and when the cycle breaks, things turn into your favour. They would like to continue to play this this game with you. They are they are invested in this. They are in, in, invested in a future with you, and they have also got the keys for this unlocking. Um, we've got castles, we've got villages, we've got towns, we've got growth here as well. So the two of you can grow this connection if that is what you want. They are also learning to not be influenced by other people. So I feel like other people have influenced their life in perhaps ways that um, has never been productive or has, you know, they've tried to have their best interest at heart. But overall, the, the production of that has been limited and it's been lacking. So that's coming up as well. But there's definite movement going on here. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is an ending and a new beginning based on the relationships between the two of you and the future that the two of you can grow and build together. Um, based on security, stability and family. So even though they're having a bit of a rough time at the moment, battling their thoughts um, about their self-esteem and, you know, would you be really liking them if you got to know the real them? There is hope here that this can, can progress between the two of you and you can break out of this cycle and, and make make it work potentially. Um, let me do your Lenoma for the future of debt number two. Can I just have three Lenoma for the future of debt number two, please? So Lemon Oil Ma reads very differently from Tarot, um, it's very direct. So we have a meeting up, so it looks like the two of you are going to meet and it's going to be an emotional meeting. So love and romance are on the cards for you guys um, with, with abundance. So those romantic feelings are going to lead to abundance, okay? So really good potential for growth over here. Great potential for growth. So a social gathering of love where love is communicated about. Um, which is really positive stuff, social gathering where love is communicated about and that love leads to abundance, romantic relationships, abundant romantic relationships. There's also uh, finances stabilising as well. So if your person hasn't been feeling very good that they can't provide for you or can't be the person that you perhaps need, um, there is going to be a shift in that dynamic. So potentially new opportunities, inflow of money, new career growth for them. Um, as again, as your collective reading. And that is deck number two. So I'll put all the details in the description and um, if you need me in the comments just find me on instagram mystic love tarot little blue tick or you can email me or check out the website everything's in the comments i will speak to you guys later many many blessings from my house to yours and lots of love bye guys